Hello everybody, it's going to be and today is Sunday the 14th of June. I am about to watch the Super Smash Bros. Nintendo Direct that is about to air. I'm on the Nintendo livestream right now. Uh, I thought I'd do a little test recording of just my reaction to this. I don't know if you, any of you care whatsoever, but for some things that I've seen, I've seen other people doing it, and I've been interested to go back and watch them, you know, uh, straight after or a few months later, just to remind myself what happened in the direct and just see other people's reactions. I mean, obviously, watching the same thing twice in a row, only slightly different, is quite boring, but I don't know, maybe at some point in the future, you'll be like, oh, I remember that Smash Brothers direct. I don't know if it's going to be any good, obviously, because I haven't watched it yet, but yeah, as well as that, I was also hoping to do it for the actual proper E3 direct uh, coming on Tuesday. Uh, which obviously is going to be a bigger event, and I don't know why, but I have a good feeling about this year. I feel like it's going to be a big year for, um, for you know, for Nintendo stuff. So last year, obviously, there was a brief sort of uh, preview of Star Fox, like not even preview really, but you know, you got the whole like it was blatantly on the screen behind Miyamoto. So I think they're going to probably show that this year. Metroid feels like the time is right for that. Uh, they've said they're not going to show any more Zelda, but I think they're lying, honestly. Uh, I don't know why, it just it just doesn't, it just feels weird. Why would they not show more Zelda? Like, come on. Um, they also said no new Mario, but they said that last year, and they didn't do it, except for Mario Maker. But, I don't know, not showing it two years in a row? I don't know, it seems a bit weird. Anyway, uh, I don't know if Yoshi's Woolly World is out yet, but I doubt they'll have that much more to show on it, unless there's some new big thing. I'm not particularly interested in getting that. Obviously last year we got Splatoon as well, but that came out just uh, a few weeks ago. So yeah, um, it's currently 3.38 and we've only got about two minutes until it starts. Obviously I'm in the UK, so it's 3.40 starting for me, but 7.40 Pacific time, I believe. Anyway, yeah, so uh, that, that's pretty much it. If you're interested, you can watch this, and if you're interested in watching this for E3 as well, I'll probably be doing it then. Uh, this is being recorded live, but it's not going to be uploaded live, it's going to be edited and uploaded a little bit later, maybe in a few hours, maybe tomorrow, honestly, I don't know. It depends on how long it is as well, that will definitely affect how long I take to actually edit it. But yeah, I have a good feeling about the about that, and obviously I've got a good feeling about this direct as well, the fact that they felt there was enough stuff for Smash Brothers to dedicate an entire separate direct two days prior. Um, suggests to me that they're going to show some quite interesting things, Pause probably, I don't know, Obviously the new characters like Lucas and uh, there have been another a couple of other characters leaked but in case you've been um, you know deliberately avoiding leaks I won't say what that is you can wait to see in this and it's a pretty solid leak though so it's almost definite what it is um, the fact that it's a big direct suggests they're either going to do a lot more characters than just that uh, or they have something completely different to show perhaps the new game mode honestly I have no idea but yeah I only got about another minute, I'm going to click off Audacity so I can see this. I don't, I'm not having it full screen, I'm having it in the theatre mode. Which I believe used to make the screen slightly bigger. It was like two different screen sizes, but now it's just kind of puts it in the middle with like a black background to it. I'm not going to go full screen in case I need to esk off and, you know, full screening is a little bit buggy. But, should just be a little bit of time. I'm hoping I don't need to go to the toilet or like somebody doesn't come in during this because it's not the kind of thing I can really re-record. Um, also hoping that obviously the one in E3 will go smoothly as well, though that will be a bit longer, so I don't know, that's partially why I'm doing this test one. Oh, and we're starting, perfect timing. I need to get some kind of new content. I need to get some kind of marker to be able to line up the video and my audio. As soon as, like, Sakurai appears, I guess I'll say. Sorry. Okay, yeah. Starting off with Roy. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was number two on the Smash Fighter ballot. <coughs> I like how he hits the other Roy away, that's pretty funny. Um, they've already shown Lucas, obviously. But yeah. Um, I'm imagining that a lot of people will be very happy to see him back, considering he was cut out of Brawl and, uh, you know, from Melee. Apparently a lot of people really liked him in Melee, so I don't know. Should be fun. I haven't gotten Lucas yet. I think he's coming out today. I don't know if he's out already or not, but uh, I haven't gotten them yet. I will be getting them at some point. I just don't know when yet. That seemed like a bit of a preview for something else that could be coming up. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's like a rainbow of Roy's. Okay. 
and now. Hello. I'm that, that was Sakurai that now was Sora. when Sakurai appeared. Let's cut right to the chase. <laughs> I try not to talk everything in, in the Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. Roy is returning to the series. Yep. As Last just time, saw. Roy appeared as a fighter in Super Smash Brothers Melee. Unlike Marth, Roy's sword is stronger at its base, so you'll want to keep your opponents close when using him. Yeah, Marth is, I believe, stronger at its tip. He's significantly more powerful now than he was really? in Super Smash Bros. Melee. I never played Melee, to be honest. I only really played Brawl. His design oh. received an overhaul, too. I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> His original look has been updated to look more in line with the times. Yeah. Good point. In Melee, he didn't have a final smash, but this Obviously. time he'll deliver a devastating sword blow in a move straight. They said that as if like only some characters did, but really final smashes just didn't exist. He'll be made okay. available yeah, alongside the revival Lucas. of Lucas. And Roy's back who else? from Super Smash Brothers Melee, and Lucas yes, returns from Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Yeah. Of the many fighters from past versions, I hope fans are happy to have back these two that were particularly popular. Yeah, we know. Uh, yeah, when I say Smash Fighter Battle, that was Here's the, the voting thing they opened uh, a couple months ago. Next, some new Mii Fighter costumes. Okay, new Mii Fighter costumes. Get ready I for some. Believe these are also titles. ones from the leak, but let's see. Hopefully, the leak didn't reveal absolutely everything. Suit up for Wave Two. Right, so that's Mega Man Exe, I believe. Yep. Mhm. Mm Seems pretty cool. I don't know the Mii's are slightly annoying. <laughs> Zero, that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, this one was. Yeah, this is pretty much just the league so far. I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot more than this. Yeah, the Splatoon Girl. Honestly, I was hoping to get um, Inklings as playable fighters, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. I don't know. I mostly was just hoping that for the fact that it would look like cool, but. They're not look cool, but, but you know, it, it, I just I basically I just really like Splatoon. But wait, who's this from? I don't know. Um, yeah, who is this from? Seriously, I mean, what is this from? Anyway, but yeah, I guess the, the Splatoon ink things wouldn't really work as regular characters because the gameplay is completely different. You'd have to introduce like the whole inking mechanic for it to actually work. So. Well, anyway, that's a interesting lineup of costumes, I guess. I don't know who those two are. I didn't see the game name because I wasn't really paying attention. As for new Mii Fighter costumes, there's Virtua Fighter. Oh, Virtua Fighter, okay. Jackie's costume is a leather jacket based on his most recent design. Honestly, Akira's I don't know what Virtua Fighter is. <laughs> Locky design in the original Virtua Fighter. Okay. Now the legendary 3D fighting game Virtua Fighter is represented in Super Smash Bros. We hope you like okay. it. And because of series popularity, we're adding in costumes for Mega Man EXE. And it's been said Zero before, but uh, Nintendo X. are treating Mega Man way better than Capcom are. Honestly, Capcom Isabel should just give them Mega Man. <laughs> but that looks really creepy. I don't know why. It just it just and reminds me of furries and from Splatoon. Yeah, so. Let's not forget not that, like, in game you know, Splatoon trophies. Too. The costumes are bad, just the, the fan like, Here are the actual the people these additional are kind of can be kinda of weird sometimes. <laughs> I don't know, I've never personally met any, but I've By seen the way, them, but so while we've released many amiibo already. <laughs> these we didn't amiibo release are enough. finally on their way. Oh, okay. Me fighters. These include the Me Brawler. <laughs> they should totally Sword announce like a custom thing you can get one of your own me. I mean, it's never gonna happen, but you can configure that would be amazing. Freely, meaning you can dress them up in DLC costumes too. Create yep. a face to your liking and pick a matching costume to expand your use of these amiibo. Mm-hmm. There are other Super Smash Brothers series amiibo coming too. Okay, which First, are first three classic game stars: Ross Falco, <laughs> Duck Hunt, and Mr. Game and Watch. The um, Ronda Mr. Game & Watch ones look pretty cool. As you can see, Mr. Game & Watch is flat, and he comes with a number of different <laughs> poses you can swap out. Oh, that's interesting, All these I Amiibo guess. figures will be available this September. Eventually, all 51 fighters from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and oh, Nintendo shit. 3DS will be released as Amiibo. Really? That's Having amazing. Having all these characters appearing in the same set like this, <laughs> there's nothing else quite like it. Yeah. 
up to this point. You can level them up one by one. I, I still YouTube, don't get this whole amiibo Lucas thing. amiibo will be released as well. Like, um... You can check for more details and release why? dates on the official oh, But no Roy, site. I guess. Anyway. And finally, I, we're I don't releasing know. more stages. Yeah, when they first revealed, um... The amiibo. I just, I just didn't get it, and a lot of people didn't get it, but then memories, it somehow it? became very popular, so I guess they know what they're doing. This is Dreamland. It's a Kirby stage. Yeah, this is in the league as well. I'm just gonna stop mentioning this stuff, isn't actually, no, I probably won't, because... We've intentionally replicated the original style, but uh, people have pointed out from the leak that one of the songs available for the selection this of this thing has an Omega um, is. We've recreated this stage for both the Wii U and okay. Nintendo 3DS versions. Okay, great. The price is listed right here. Okay, um, that one of the music is the Fountain of Dreams from Melee, which stages. suggests that Fountain of Dreams is not coming back, which is a shame Super because I never played Melee, but it looks way cooler than that. So here's a little taste. <laughs> All right, two original stages. Uh, from, oh right, from the original game. That's pretty cool. Where's that, Hyrule Castle? That's Peach's Castle, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like it to me, so... Alright, The Miiverse cool. stage is finally <laughs> coming to the Wii U version. Oh god, Miiverse. During matches while connected Are we gonna to see any dumb Splatoon ones? You'll start to see Miiverse posts appear, cheering fighters on in the background. Nintendo of America started reblogging pictures, uh, sorry, re, um, These retweeting pictures fueled by your of... Uh, <laughs> um, we'll be opening like the Miiverse community Splatoon things. for each character, so if you post your messages there, because Splatoon is literally like the, of the hub of terrible smat of terrible Miiverse posts. I don't know why. I'm sure, it's exciting. To it's like 50% Squidward and 50% White Ink jokes. So please participate. On the bonus CD that. that was available from Club Nintendo, there are some songs that you may never have actually heard in the game. Oh. They're from this Miiverse. I only listened to the red one. I hope you like this a little bit. Too. Couldn't be bothered. <laughs> As for the price, yes. The Miiverse stage mm. is free to enjoy. Well, that's fair enough. See, Nintendo know how to do DLC. They're a bit now slow to get to DLC, but I guess they kind of just observe and see what worked best. The saw what worked best before they. Ah, oh, tournaments! Where you can compete for the highest points in a certain amount of time, as well as regular tourneys, which only okay, happen good. at certain times, just like real tournaments. Okay, we can you not developing both types, start our own tournaments but like we that. want to make sure we test out the online features thoroughly, so please wait just a bit longer. Okay. We're planning to begin supporting them in August, so August, stay tuned. right. Should be fun. Oh, because that's the summer. We can get loads of parties with people. We'll be, I'll be sure to, to record that. Another Super Smash Bros. Oh, YouTube feature. will soon allow you to post replay videos ah. on YouTube. Until yeah, now, when you applied updates, your old data would usually cease to be compatible with the updated version. But with this new replay posting feature, you can record videos and post them on YouTube. There'll be normal video files, so you can view them from your PC or smartphone too. That's fairly obvious. To use obvious. this feature, you'll need a Google account. Really? For details, please check the official site after the service begins. Everything's just linking up so much. Like, now for Mario Kart final announcement. Then please the... take a look. Oh, it's a fairly short direct. Okay, that's not that bad. <laughs> so it's a little 10 minute one. Is this the other leak? Yep. Okay, great. I'm looking for a sandwich challenge. Ah, <laughs> well, that's, that's pretty cool. XP. Yeah, this guy was. Here comes Enchanger Ryu. Yeah, he was the number one like most requested character, which I wasn't expecting because there weren't as many jokes about him as the likes of um, Ridley. And Goku and oh my god Gino especially. But yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> Always seems pretty fun. Oh that's cool. It goes like comic book style. Oh yeah, and this stage especially looks really cool. It's apparently from one of the Street Fighter games, like properly, but um yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Because it just looks so pretty. I think I'm gonna play on the stage or So I imagine like Nintendo must have to stand a chance. Must have seen um the whole seen it on the ballot and they're just like 
contacted uh, Capcom straight away. Is it Capcom the Mixed Street Fighter? I think it is. What's this? Is that an alternate costume of it or something? Thank you for waiting. Okay. Ryu of the Street Fighter series yep. joins the fight. He arrives in Super Smash Brothers seeking powerful opponents. He's mm -hmm. being created to most closely resemble his Street Fighter 2 form. Yep. In that uh -huh. game, there were six it's like buttons. the one that has most. Smash things. focuses on two. Yet somehow, he'll have a wide range of moves at his disposal. Somehow? It's because of directionality. Even his I low guess. attacks have light, medium, and heavy versions. Okay. That's because the move you activate depends on whether you tap the button or press and hold the button. Okay. You can use completely different moves from light to heavy by holding the button longer. That'd be annoying for me because um, I already have enough trouble the using the move that I want to as it is. I'll use the side and it will use the up. I'll use the neutral and it will use the side. It's... You even I don't know. Have a weak I guess I need to get a, a streaky controller. Attack. Okay. You can use familiar Street Fighter moves too. Collarbone like the hood is a great shield breaking oh. move. Oh, okay. And Jodan Sokutogeri is a move from Street Fighter In general, Ryu is geared toward dealing out combo attacks. This is some pretty sweet some music. Of these combos Did I really just say that? I never say sweet. And there Come are on. some new ones too. <laughs> and of course, his signature move. This is also bizarre. You can activate a seeing all these different the buttons in, in Smash. I don't know. Remember, you can change My first actual Smash game was broad, but altering how long you press and hold it down. I don't know. For the Hadoken, we've also accommodated Street Fighter's familiar command inputs. What, what do you mean? If you enter its original command, the move is a bit stronger. Oh. Another type of Hadoken, the Shakunetsu <laughs> That's Hadoken, cool. can be activated by entering a <laughs> Yoga Flame command. There's also the Hurricane Kick. Okay. It's hugely destructive, and it can be used for movement too. Okay. Now, for the invincible finishing move, the Shoryu Ken. You can well, activate the Shoryu Ken with just one button press, but if you enter I'm the not familiar with Street Fighter, so I don't really know about this. There's a good this. chance you will KO your opponent. Try making contact at the start of the animation. If you input the command correctly, the character's voice and effects will change, so trust me, you'll know. Okay. Fair enough. His down special move is called a Focus Attack. Oh, that's one that takes a little from your opponent and stun them. Okay. Keep pressing the button to increase its power. Away. If you hit the opponent, press forward twice to cancel the animation and dash, then attack. Okay, cool. And Ryu has two final smashes. He's the first fighter in Super Smash Bros. history to have that. If you well, just before this video ends, I'm going to say, away, I'm pretty happy that they game. saved this hit for, uh, as well. separately from the E3. For two reasons. One, because it was leaked, and it doesn't look like anything other than the leak is in this. And that still surprised us, because you never know it's Nintendo. Uh, and secondly, because it just means more stuff at E3, assuming it's going to be the same length. They haven't just split it up. Because um, it, you know, it just means they can fit more at E3. You know, for new games that actually haven't come out yet, not just DLC stuff. Not the DLC isn't cool. That's what's good. Suzaku! The right side provides stable footage. Oh, I can foresee all the Code Geass jokes. While the left side has smaller, separated platforms. That means your strategy needs to adapt to the side you're on. I wonder if the stage is a massive hit. And when you launch well. your opponent at close range, you can actually really? destroy the signs. Are you kidding me? I've got like this stupid. In Omega form, it looks even closer program. to the original game. I think I mentioned this in one way. It is before PC Utilizer Pro. I don't know if it does anything, but it keeps serving up. It did come with my computer, so it's not like a random virus thing, but I don't want to delete it in case it actually is helping me without me realizing, but it doesn't look like it is. It just kind of shows up, tells me how many weird, like, uh, bad files I have, which is a lot more than I really should do, uh, than, it, than I think I do. Because my computer seems to be running fine. I mean, I guess everyone has... Anyway, let's not get into that. <laughs> Right, Ken There's stage even theme. a remix of the theme from Ryu's stage. This one was arranged right. by Street Fighter II's sound composer, Ms. Yoko Shimomura. Mm -hmm. Plus, the character's illustration was done by the nice. original character designer, Akiman. Akiman. That's pretty cool. We've also included a Ryu trophy and a Ken trophy, too. 
You can of course Tim get these like in-game trophies just by playing the game. <gasps> this is just me. We put a lot of effort into implementing Ryu into these games. Enjoy! Ryu and Suzaku Castle come as a set okay. for the prices you see on screen. Okay. Oh, is that like a bundle I, I can get forgot. all of this in? It's somewhat unrelated, but representing Tekken is Heihachi with a Mii Fighter costume. Okay. He can sport his unique hairstyle I too. I don't know Tekken either. Three top fighting games have now united in Super Smash Brothers. Alright, that's pretty Please cool. Enjoy. No, we're adding all the characters We've from PlayStation Battle of All Stars and Royale. Of Roy <laughs> and Ryu as well. Development confirmed the for Amiibo. Timing hasn't been well, finalized yet, oh yeah, no, they have said Please check back on the okay, official yeah, Amiibo yeah, site yeah, later. Alright, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's review everything. Ryu. 10 out of 10. Roy. <laughs> Lucas. Akira. Jackie, Isabel, Mega Man mm -hmm. EXE, Zero, Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl, Squid Hat, <laughs> Heihachi, Dreamland, The Miiverse Stage, Suzaku Castle, mm -hmm. Omega Form Stages, it, the, the Bonus weird. Trophies, Ryu, Ken, Roy, Lucas, yeah, and Splatoon. All right. You can also get <laughs> these special trophies by completing All-Star mode. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. All of these are already available for you to download. Oh. Please check the in-game In notifications two minutes. or the official site for more details. <laughs> that's all for this yeah, Super Smash Brothers new content approaching video presentation okay. for cool. June 14th, 2015. Is it going to be something else? Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, that thing's happening. I forgot about that. Okay. That's like in the evening for me, so... Probably it doesn't seem that interesting anyway. That is a very 90s logo right there as well. World Championships 2015. Uh, well anyway, uh, I guess that's it. Is that it? It seems to have... Yeah, nothing else is happening. I just don't want to be surprised. <laughs> Okay, uh, I believe that is it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you guys next time and hope you have fun at E3 and watch my video on that. So I'll see you guys then.